Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for a part two to the DIY wood sign that I put up and this part is to show you how to use a Cricut and how to make a vinyl stencil cutout on a Cricut. I have the Cricut Explorer air in like the white and the gold edition and I use the Cricut design space online to design all of my signs and a lot of the fonts I download myself or I find myself or I create the font myself um, that I'm not going to be uploading a video as to how to make your own font because it is a little bit more complicated but um, I will be showing you how I cut a design from um, Cricut Design Space online. All right, first step is to start a new design, which is up in the upper left hand corner. And then you're going to want to hit text and add your text. This one is a very straightforward design. It just says Lake House. And I'm using one of my favorite fonts here, the Baskerville Old Face or regular Baskerville. You'll see that I switched back to the regular Baskerville. It's a little bit less of a bold. Now I am zooming out so that I can see more of the sign. This was a five or six foot sign. So I am starting out with the final dimensions of what I want the sign to be. So you can see that I am stretching it out to be as close to five or six feet as possible here. Um, if you look at the inches on the bottom and the side. Once I get the dimensions of the final size close to what I want them to be, I'm going to ungroup the letters because that's going to individualize them. And here I am trying to make the letters grouped together so that they fit on a Cricut Explore mat. Now the dimensions of the mat are 12 by 24 inches, so I'm just getting as close to that as I possibly can. Um, actually the exact dimensions that you need to have them be is 11 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches to fit on the mat. Once I get them uh, close to that size, I will group them back together. Now this last E on the end, I am going to show you how I match that up with the other E. I'll, honestly, I just overlay it. I kind of wing this part, <laughs> but um, I just overlay it onto the other E to make sure that they are exactly the same size. And then I will separate them out again. And once I'm done making sure all of my letters are grouped and attached, which is what I was showing you in that last clip, is that you need to attach them. Then you can go ahead and you can cut your design. Right here, I'm just taking a peek, peek at the mat to make sure that everything is going to cut okay and, and nothing is going to run into each other. And then you're going to want to connect your Cricut, make sure that the material is set to vinyl. And on your Cricut machine, it should be flashing at the arrow sign uh, to load your Cricut mat. Now, I don't show here, but you're going to want to cut your vinyl, which I use the Oracle. I'll leave it down below, Oracle Vinyl. And then I just cut it to the length of the mat. And then I load the mat into the machine. And once the machine is loaded, you'll want to hit the flashing C, which I'll show you here in a second what that looks like. There's the flashing arrow. Click that to set it to load. Once it's loaded, the C is going to start to flash and you're gonna click on that and then your machine is going to go 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 it's gonna take a few minutes to cut the entire thing you'll be able to see the progress on your um, screen on your computer screen itself but yeah usually I just kind of let it do its thing and walk away and do my own thing <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, if there is two parts to your cutting, if there's two sheets that need to be cut, like on this one, you see that there is only the E left to be cut. Um, I'll just go back in, make sure that the E is ready to go, and then I will start cutting that on another mat. Um, and here in a second, I'll show you how to remove the vinyl um, and get your transfer tape on so that it is ready for a sign. All right, so here I am just using my vinyl removal tool, my hook, I guess. Um, I just got it from my local Joanne Fabrics store. Um, it is the Cricut brand, and you're just going to pop out the letters. Now I'm zooming out to show you guys that I am using a clear contact paper for my transfer tape. I will link that down below for you guys as well. I just get this honestly from my local hardware store. You can get it at Home Depot and Lowe's as well. Or if you're from my area, Menards, um, which I believe is just like a Midwest thing. But anyways, that's where I get my vinyl, but I've also seen it at Walmart in 12 inch wide rolls. But I'm just laying that transfer tape out and sealing it onto the letters itself, popping off the vinyl, and that's it. That's it, you guys. All right, you guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Super short and sweet and simple. I hope my tips and tricks helped you out today. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I think I will be uploading a video just for tips and tricks on Cricut Design Space. Um, this was just to show you how to, in general, make a stencil on Cricut Design Space how to cut it, how to set it up, what kind of vinyl I use, and what kind of transfer tape I use. If you like this kind of video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up so that I know you like it. Please consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Click on that bell notification button so that you don't miss out on any other future videos that I've got planned for you guys. There's lots of DIYs coming your way this next couple weeks in the rest of Vlogmas. I have a DIY palette wall coming up, and I also have some DIY shelves, um, floating pipe shelves, and a pipe um, bookcase shelf. So, stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, thanks so much for tuning into today's video, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas. Okay, bye guys.